Well, I know I've been surprised how my children and have been worried about my health. A second round of COVID-19 booster shots is on the way for BC's most vulnerable. And as Friday marks the end of the BC vaccine card program, those who will soon be eligible for the jab say they are keen to roll up their sleeves. Well, I think it's a great sense of relief to everyone that the people that are most at risk of contracting the virus and being harmed by it are being protected with this additional layer of protection in the vaccine. The province announced Tuesday fourth doses will be provided for long-term care residents, Indigenous people aged 55 and older, those who are considered clinically extremely vulnerable, as well as other British Columbians aged 70 and up. They'll be getting invitations in the next few weeks. It's been nearly six months since residents of long-term care had their first booster. And as Dr. Henry said, uh, in older uh, people, the immunity wanes faster. And so this is very, very timely. And I think uh, goes a long way to heading off another wave uh, you know, in long-term care, which is absolutely the most vulnerable environment possible. I think we've all been worried about our immunity waning as it seems that these vaccines are very effective for a period of months and then the immunity is waning and that of course leaves us more open to being infected. Leslie Gaudet with the Council of Senior Citizens Organizations of BC says even with booster doses, many elderly people will likely opt to keep masks on in social settings. I think it's still important to me and a lot of my friends in this age group that we do continue wearing masks because we know it's protecting others as well as ourselves. And it's just nice to bring some stability to our lives, to know that we can continue to meet with people in person because the lack of social connectedness has been a real challenge to many of us over the period of the last two years. Ashley Burr, City News.